Let's see the min-max scaling in action. What I'm going to do here is create some data. It has follows this bizarre formula that I just came up with for no particular reason. So it's log transformed numbers from a uniform distribution. These numbers come from uh, are, are drawn from a uniform distribution between zero and one. And when you take the log of uh, numbers between zero and one, the outcome is always going to be negative. So we get all these negative numbers here. And then I'm multiplying them by 234, because why not? And then I add them to, uh, and then I add to that data set uh, 934. So let's see what these data look like. Actually, let me plot these. I'm going to plot the data as circles, and here's what they look like. So it's pretty interesting. It looks like there's some skew downwards here. So there might be some outliers, or at least the data are more sparsely distributed on the low end, which would be the left of the histogram of the distribution, and more tightly clustered up here. Okay, so then I'm going to uh, get the, the minimum and maximum value from this data set. So the minimum happens to be minus 28, so the maximum is 933. And then I'm going to apply this formula that I showed you in the slides in the previous video to give us the data S, which is the data scaled. So, and then we do a little bit of plotting. So let's see, so here's our original data. It's actually, it should look familiar. This is basically the same as what I showed in the slides. So here's our original data. Here is the min max scaled data. And just as a reminder about the terminology, because we are scaling these data to go from zero to one, so the largest value is one, the smallest value is zero, that's often called unity-based data scaling or unity-based normalization. And then you can also see I'm adding this kind of wonky uh, x-axis offset here. It's totally not necessary. We can say zero times, and I'll run this code again. And now, you know, I think this looks a little bit boring, old-fashioned. I don't know. Somehow this doesn't appeal to me aesthetically. I, I like this kind of a little bit chaos, a little bit artistic. It makes me think of a Piet Mondrian uh, painting. Anyway, so... Uh, but more seriously, uh, this also is useful, having some randomization on the x-axis. It's also useful because it shows you the clustering of data a little bit better. So take these guys, for example. These are all clustered together. Over here, all these data points are in there, but they're all overlaying each other. So it's a little harder to see uh, where there is tight clustering when there's overlap of the data points. Okay, so the original data, the unity norm scaled, min max scaled data, and this just shows that, again, like with Z normalization, we're not actually fundamentally changing the relationships between the different values in the data set. All we're doing is scaling on the y axis. Okay, then in the uh, second part of the lecture, of the previous lecture, I showed you not just how to uh, normalize to between zero to one, but to normalize to any particular range that you want. And this was uh, how that formula works. So we take the scaled data, so the data that's already scaled to zero to one, multiply by the range of the new data, and then add the minimum of the new data. Okay. So then we create this. I'm not plotting it. You can, you're welcome to plot this if you like. Here I'm just showing that the minimum and maximum of this new data set, so I call this SS for scaled scaled, is indeed 4 and 8.7, exactly as we specified here. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of plotting, a little bit of NumPy dancing around. So we need some of these libraries here. I'm creating this data set here. I just kind of made up this weird formula. So what I'm doing here is uh, taking the, the log, the natural log of uniformly distributed random numbers, 42 of them, between 0 and 1. So the rand function without the n, of course, this with the n, that generates Gaussian distributed, normally distributed numbers. If you just say rand like this, then that gives you a uniform distributed uh, n uh, random numbers between 0 and 1. And now the log of these numbers is going to be negative. So these are going to give us negative numbers. And then I'm making them even more negative by multiplying them by some factor. And then I'm going to make most of them positive by adding 934, because that seemed like a good number whenever I was writing this code. 
And then here I'm creating a new variable called data s, s for scaled. And essentially that's just implementing the formula for scaling the data that I showed in the previous video. Okay, and then we're doing some plotting. So let's take a look, let's see what this plot looks like. Here we see the original data in its original scale, whatever that scale means. And here is the uh, min-max scale data. So you can see that the data range from a minimum of zero up to a maximum of one. And just as another reminder of the terminology, when you are min-max scaling your data to go from zero to one, that is also called unity normed data scale or unity data scale. So just a minor point that I would like to mention about the plotting here. So you can see that I've added some random noise, just a, a little bit of random noise, normally distributed numbers, I'm dividing by 20. 20 is just an arbitrary scaling factor that happens to look good for uh, this x-axis range. And the main reason why I do that is because there's a lot of overlapping or nearly overlapping data points. And so it's hard to see what the distribution looks like, what the clustering looks like, without having some kind of shift on the x-axis. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm just multiplying this by zero, which is just a, a lazy way of, of getting rid of this thing. So here you see, so this actually, you don't even see the individual data points. You just see a bar here and same here. So in fact, we see here that this is three data points here and here, you know, it's unclear how many data points it is. So this is just a useful plotting trick to help people see what the distribution, what the clustering of these numbers looks like. So I mentioned in the video and similar to the z-score normalization, this min-max scaling operation doesn't actually change the distribution or the relationship between the different values within a data set. All it's doing is shifting and scaling on the y-axis. And we can show that here by plotting uh, the original data as a function of the scaled data. And you can see that all these data points lie on a line. If you like, you can also compute the correlation coefficient between them, like I did in uh, two videos ago about the uh, z-score normalization. And you will find that that correlation is one. Okay, so this is for unity scaling. I also showed you in the previous video how to normalize the data to any arbitrary range. So that's what I'm doing here. This line of code is for data scale scale. And this is just implementing the formula that I showed in the slides. So here I'm going to uh, scale the data to go from four to 8.7. And then I implement that formula. I'm not doing any plotting. You're welcome to if you like, of course. Uh, but uh, instead I'm just showing the minimum and maximum value of the scale data sets. And not surprisingly, because you know math works, uh, we get the, the minimum value of four and the maximum of 8.7.